Hey, hey, welcome everyone. Day two, good morning. Okay, so I hope you all had a good night last night, got some sleep, uh, and are ready for all of the great content we're about to lay on you today. So before we begin, we would like to thank our sponsors. There we go. And so our gold sponsors, Armory and Ops MX, Harness and Puppet, and then our startup, startup sponsors, AutoCloud, Firefly, and Pradvana. Ooh, oh. hey there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Skipping far ahead. Yeah, and uh, um, yes, so um, also, you know, they'll, they're, if you didn't know, the sponsors are located out there. And I think I saw a cool um, Lego set out there, so be sure to visit the booths there to get some cool swag. Um, and so just like quick housekeeping item, um, just reminding everyone about uh, the code of conduct, uh, conference code of conduct. Um, you know, we wanna make everyone feel welcome here. If you have any issues, just feel free to flag down one of the staff. Um, we're more than happy to help um, any one of you if you have any issues. All right, now the slide comes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so one of the most important things and what makes CDCon, GitOpsCon, any foundation that you're a part of, any open source project, is the ability to join in. And we want to encourage you to join us. Come on, come play yes. with us. We're yes. great people. <laughs> we don't bite. So there's plenty of ways to get involved. And so uh, we just want to talk about sort of our story and how we got involved with CDF, CNCF, Linux Foundation, foundations in general, open source, start to finish. Yeah. So. Um, so I would like to start kind of, you know, just kind of throwing the ball your way, kind of asking you the question, um, you know, how did you get involved um, with, um, with, you know, the CD Foundation and, you know, um, you know, foundations in general, as you say, right? I was voluntold. Voluntold. I was voluntold by my boss. Yeah. If anybody else has been voluntold, they said we have a, we sponsor the Linux Foundation, we sponsor CDF, CNCF, we now sponsor us Foundation, Eclipse Foundation, all these foundations, and we need somebody to actually do something. We need somebody to like figure out what's happening within the organizations and how can JFrog be a part of it. Like we have this huge, you know, company. We went from 500 to 1400 now. Like how do we get involved and how do we stay on the cutting edge of what's going on? And the most awesome thing is, Lori, this is in a vendor neutral space. And I said, what does that even mean? I'm like, we have competitors. And they're like, no, 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 It's open source. Like people are encouraged to work together to solve problems. And we're volunteering you to get involved. And it was the best voluntold thing that's ever happened to me. Because what did I do? I started actually volunteering on my own, which is what got me here on the stage and as marketing outreach chair of CDF. Um, so. There's plenty of ways to get involved with the CDF right now. And if you will go to the next slide. Uh, I love QR codes. I know it might be old school, and I apologize that I didn't put the cool CDF logo in the middle where the bit.ly link is. Um, but we have elections starting right now. And um, if you are a member, you can run. If you're a user, you can run. Um, you can also join our Slack space, uh, where there's tons of conversations that are happening. So the CDF has nine projects. Um, and within that, there's SIGs, there's working groups, there's people that are always there that are ready to like answer a question that you have or you know help you along the way um, if you're stuck if you don't know what's happening and you want to learn more the slack workspace I think is by far the best area for you to get involved there's like links to our github account all that kind of stuff but the main thing is if you don't like join something how are you gonna like know what's out there and I think we all come here to learn and to find out what's going on but this could happen for all year and you can join a working group because maybe you're really interested in supply chain security and you have an idea. Or maybe you have this really cool plugin that is with Jenkins and you're here today because you learned yesterday that they have this really cool plugin rank checker and you have an idea of like maybe taking that and moving that forward. Like if you don't participate, then you don't know. And so I think it's an awesome opportunity for you to kind of take from sitting in the seats to the next level and becoming a volunteer in any kind of way. We have ambassadors, we have mentors. There's just a ton of different opportunities out there. Just go with what you like. You know, if you don't like, um, like blogging, then I wouldn't suggest you rec you volunteer to write a blog post. But if you really like doing videos and you have this really cool demo, then you know do that. So there's just tons of ways that you can give back, and I just want to encourage you to join us. Um, 
definitely in the Slack workspace, but you can run for two elected offices. And if you're not sure if you're an eligible voter, you can click that last little QR code and it'll take you to the page that lets you know all the information. Yeah, what, what do you say um, you guys are in need of? Right now, so there's there's a lot of um, everything. Yeah, everything. Okay. Everything. <laughs> you, usually, like there's one space where it's like, oh, we could really use someone to, to volunteer in this one space. But you're saying just just find something that you like. Yeah, and... we have we have nine projects, right? There's nine projects that are always looking for contributors, maintainers, things like that. But in that, like I said, we have SIGs, we have working groups. Like maybe you're really interested in reference architecture, and you know, so join the the reference architecture or the best practices SIG. Um, I, I would say, like, as you know, in open source, there's always a need for something. And until you join and start asking, like, you're not going to know. And again, it's based on what you want to do. Like, I was voluntold to be a part of the foundations, and it was the best thing ever because I'm a marketing person. And look, here I am on the stage getting to represent the CD um, Con program committee, which was an amazing experience. And I, I really hope you enjoy the content. They took a lot of thought and care into that. But I'm a marketing person, right? And like, I'm here. So that's my story. Christian, what's your story? How did you get involved? Yeah, so um, I will. Um move on here. I'm, I'm more of a uh, one, one QR, right, one stop <laughs> sort of thing, right? So I, I, it, it actually takes you to a page with a lot of other links, so it's not like um, her, her QR card is probably a lot better since it takes you directly there. I just got QR there. code I just QR stage. code stage. So, <laughs> so um, yeah, so um, how I got involved is um, I wasn't voluntold, actually. I'm kind of extroverted. A little bit, and uh, I'm a people person. I'm outgoing, and so um, uh, when um, when I changed teams at Red Hat, I was originally in, in sales. Um, I changed into uh, the PNT, right, products and technology. And my boss um, asked, you know, what do you want to be when you grow up? Which is an interesting question, you know, to ask with a 35 year old guy. But he asked me, what do, what do you want to be when you grow up? I'm like, you know what I want to do? I want to be the Kelsey Hightower of GetOps. And so he goes, okay, you know, then you have the complete freedom to explore that for yourself. And right around that time, um, members from the Flux community and members from the Argo uh, CD community, uh, sorry, the Argo project community, uh, was getting together to kind of define what does GetOps actually mean. So I talked a little bit about this um, yesterday in, um, in the keynote where I said, you know, the, the you know these group of individuals didn't want um, what happened to cloud, right? Who, 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 what is cloud, right? People are calling their hard drive in um, you know their external hard drive a cloud, right? Essentially, you know, their their cloud. Um, they didn't want what happened to cloud to happen to GitOps. Let's take, let's get some definitions around this. And I was part of that a process very very early on. And what I really liked about it is. Um, that it was a community of architects, right? A lot of times when you think about open source and community, you think about code, right? But like, you know, look, look at us here standing on stage. We got someone who's really, really great at marketing, really, <laughs> and someone who, um, you know, who's an architect, right? Had, you know, the, we're nerds at heart, but we, we don't have, you know, we're, we're not contributing a lot of code. And so what, I re what really attracted me uh, to the Open GitOps project was um, the fact that there was like these, these folks that were, you know, from, from two different sides, right? Uh, you, you would think, com you know, competing projects, but actually came together. Um, and I, I actually see um, Costas and Kingdon out there sitting at the same table. It's like, you know, the uh, Flux and Argo, the, uh, the, the Capulets and the Montagues, right, are sitting at the same table just hanging out because, um, and, and, and that's kind of what attracted me to, to open get up. So, um, you know, being part of the process, being part of being able to, you know, almost develop an industry standard um, was really, really, really attracted, uh, was attractive to me. And so, um, you know, I started contributing, um, you know, my opinion. Uh, those of you who that, that know me, I'm not short of opi uh, on opinions. And so I was just uh, contributing opinions, um, documentation, um, you know, helping out with the website, setting up things like like GetOpsCon, right, was was one of the things that I was involved with, and so um, that's kind of where um, where where we are 
uh, open GitOps. In, in a lot of ways, we are still kind of in the bootstrapping phase. There's, um, you know, there's a lot of room for help. Um, you know, shout out to Stacy who's been helping me at the social media because before it was just me, um, <laughs> and she's been helping out with the, the social media thing. Shout out to, to Nicholas who may be watching this in recording because he's in Germany, who's handling all the website stuff. Um, you know, and uh, you know, shout out to Scott. Um, I don't know where he, he he's out there. You know, kind of co-chairing and getting all the documentation in the project bootstrap. So, um, you know, I asked you where you guys need more most help. Um, where we need most help is um, continuing that bootstrap process. We are developing a, a path to, uh, you know, how to be a contributor, right? We have a lot of maintainers, not a lot of contributors. So we, we need more contributors. But in order to do that, we need to kind of figure out what that path looks like. We would love for anyone to join and kind of help us, um, you know, shape that. Shape, you know, what does contribution uh, look like? Also, like you, like you said, blogs. There's blogs, documentation. Um, Carlos Santana, not the guitar player, but uh, um, <laughs> I don't know if you saw his talk. He was, you know, talking about uh, developing uh, a matrix of best practices. Like, oh, if you're using this and you're using that, then you might this might be a pattern you might follow. Um, I asked him to contribute, you know, that sort of documentation uh, to the Open GitOps project. Uh, Nikki, which I don't see out there, but um, she does a lot of with environmental sustainability and GitOps. I'm like, can you please just, you know, don't <laughs> donate all your findings uh, to Open GitOps. So there's still a lot of room. There's, we're, we're still growing, and uh, we still, you know, are almost, you know, we're still in that bootstrap process. So um, kind of a long-winded way of me saying that. To summarize, uh, to summarize. We, we could use some help. <laughs> yes. And to summarize, we would love for you to participate. So if it's something that you're thinking about, like just, you know, come talk to us if you're like a little bit like, I don't really care about QR codes and whatever, but like, how do I do this? Happy to talk to anybody. Um, but I think with that, we should just kick it off and start with our yeah. keynotes. Yeah, yeah, you're here yeah. to see some cool talks. So I think, I think we, should, uh, we should get to the talk. Okay. Sure.